Southeast Asia. Mystic mountains, ancient temples, neon drenched streets. We've all seen the postcards, but beyond the bustling crowds and the historical wonders of Southeast Asia, a different life awaits. A land of secret cities, whispering untold stories, places where tradition thrives and nature's beauty takes your breath away. This is a journey into the heart of Southeast Asia, a quest for hidden gems and authentic experiences. Join me as we venture off the beaten path, exploring the lesser known cities that embody the true spirit of Southeast Asia. By the way, I have a free travel gift at the end of this video. Every serious traveler should have it in their back pocket. All right, let's begin. Luang Prabang, nestled in a valley where the Mekong and Namkhan rivers meet. This ancient city is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Life here is unhurried, dictated by the rising and setting sun and the ebb and flow of the river. Monks in saffron robes glide silently through the streets, collecting alms from the faithful. Whether exploring centuries-old temples or sipping strong Lao coffee at a riverside cafe, you'll be captivated by the city's timeless allure. The heart of Luang Prabang beats within its many temples, each a testament to the city's enduring spirituality. Wat Siang Thong, the most magnificent, stands as a symbol of Laotian artistry and faith. As the sun sets, make your way to the top of Mount Fuzi, a hilltop temple overlooking the city. From this vantage point, watch as the sky explodes in colors, casting a golden glow over the Mekong River. It's the quiet moments of reflection and encounters with monks that will stay with you. The Mekong River is the lifeblood of Luang Prabang. Take a boat trip upstream to witness a different side of the city, one that unfolds at a slower pace. Villages appear like paintings come to life, with wooden houses on stilts and fishermen casting their nets. Stop at the Pak U Caves, where thousands of Buddha statues are enshrined in limestone caverns. The Mekong River has a way of washing away your worries, leaving you feeling refreshed. It's a reminder to slow down and appreciate the simple things in life. Oh, quick side note. If you're finding this video helpful, then feel free to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on more Unreal Travel. Okay, back to Secret Cities. As dusk descends on Luang Prabang, the city undergoes a magical transformation. The night market on Sisavangvong Road is a riot of colors, sounds, and aromas. Vendors offer everything from handicrafts to delicious street food. Sample local delicacies like khao soy and mango sticky rice. The warmth and friendliness of the Lao people make Luang Prabang special. This genuine hospitality is one of the city's most endearing qualities. Journey south to Hoi An, a town seemingly untouched by time, nestled on the coast of Vietnam, Hoi An is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Imagine strolling down narrow streets lined with mustard yellow merchant houses. Hoi An invites you to slow down, savor the moment, and lose yourself in its timeless beauty. From bustling markets to cozy cafes, Hoi An is a feast for the senses. Hoi An's unique charm lies in its rich tapestry of cultures. The town's architecture is a testament to this cultural fusion with Chinese shop houses, Vietnamese tube houses, and French colonial mansions. Visit assembly halls like the Fujian Assembly Hall and the Japanese Covered Bridge. The cuisine is a delicious fusion of Vietnamese, Chinese, Japanese, and French influences. Hoi An is a place where cultures collide and coexist, creating a vibrant and harmonious tapestry. As dusk descends on Hoi An, 
the streets come alive with a soft glow of silk lanterns. Take a stroll along the Thuban River to witness the full spectacle of Hoi An's lantern magic. Hire a boat for a short cruise that includes traditional music performances and the opportunity to release floating lanterns. The lanterns are symbols of hope, prosperity, and the enduring spirit of Hoi An. As you wander through the lantern-lit streets, appreciate the stories they tell. Despite its transformation into a popular tourist destination, Hoi An retains the soul of a merchant town. Visit the Central Market, a vibrant hub of local life, and experience the bustling markets and family-run businesses. Hoi An is famous for its tailor shops, where skilled artisans create custom-made clothing. Beyond the shopping, it's the people of Hoi An who embody the town's merchant spirit. Their genuine hospitality and entrepreneurial spirit make Hoi An a truly special place. Our journey now takes us to the island of Borneo, to a city where rivers carve paths through history and cultures converge like the tides. Kuching, the capital of Sarawak, Malaysia, is a city where the past whispers through the streets and the jungle's embrace is never far away. Imagine strolling along a waterfront, the air thick with the scent of spices and the sound of boat horns echoing across the water. Kuching, meaning cat in Malay, lives up to its name with a charm that is both playful and captivating. The city sprawls along both banks of the Sarawak River, a waterway that has witnessed centuries of trade, migration, and cultural exchange. Colorful houses on stilts line the riverbanks, a testament to the city's past as a hub for fishermen and traders. Today, these traditional houses stand in harmonious contrast to modern buildings, creating a cityscape that is both eclectic and enchanting. As you wander through the streets of Kuching, you'll notice a unique energy, a blend of ancient traditions and modern aspirations. The city is home to a diverse population with Malays, Chinese, Indians, and indigenous Dayak communities living side by side. This cultural melting pot is reflected in everything from the city's cuisine to its architecture, creating a vibrant tapestry that is both fascinating and inspiring. Unlike the bustling metropolises of Southeast Asia, Kuching moves at a more relaxed pace. Here life unfolds along the riverbanks, where locals gather for morning coffee, families share meals at waterfront restaurants, and children play in the shadow of ancient temples. Kuching invites you to slow down, to savor the moment, and to discover the hidden treasures that lie around every corner. Kuching's cultural diversity is its heart and soul, a vibrant tapestry woven from the threads of different traditions. The city is a place where you can visit a Chinese temple adorned with intricate carvings in the morning, then find yourself captivated by the rhythmic beat of Dayak drums in the evening. This harmonious blend of cultures is what makes Kuching so unique, a place where ancient customs and modern life coexist in perfect balance. One of the best ways to experience Kuching's cultural tapestry is to visit its many museums and cultural villages. The Sarawak Museum, one of the oldest museums in Southeast Asia, houses an impressive collection of artifacts that tell the story of Sarawak's rich history and cultural heritage. Here, you can learn about the indigenous Dayak people, their traditional longhouses, and their fascinating customs. For a more immersive experience, head to the Sarawak Cultural Village, a living museum that showcases the traditional houses, crafts, and performing arts of Sarawak's diverse ethnic groups. Here you can witness traditional dances, try your hand at blowpipe shooting, and learn about the art of weaving and beadwork from local artisans. But Kuching's cultural richness is not confined to museums and cultural villages. It's in the everyday moments, in the aroma of spices 
wafting from street food stalls, in the colorful sarongs worn by Malay women, in the sound of Chinese operas echoing from shop houses. Keep your eyes and ears open, and you'll discover that Kuching is a city where tradition is not just preserved, but celebrated in every aspect of daily life. In the heart of Borneo. Kuching is not just a city, it's a gateway to the heart of Borneo, an island renowned for its ancient rainforests, diverse wildlife, and adventurous spirit. Just a short drive from the city center, you can find yourself trekking through lush jungles, encountering orangutans in their natural habitat, and exploring caves adorned with ancient cave paintings. One of the most popular destinations for nature lovers is Baco National Park, a peninsula of rainforest accessible only by boat. Here you can hike through dense jungle trails, spot proboscis monkeys with their distinctive noses, and relax on secluded beaches. Keep an eye out for the elusive bearded pigs and the carnivorous pitcher plants unique to this part of the world. For a truly unforgettable experience, venture into the heart of Borneo and visit the Gunung Mulu National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site renowned for its spectacular limestone formations, vast cave systems, and incredible biodiversity. Here, you can explore the awe-inspiring Deer Cave, home to millions of bats, or challenge yourself with a climb to the summit of Mount Mulu, the second highest mountain in Sarawak. Whether you're a seasoned adventurer or simply seeking a taste of the wild, Kuching offers a window into the natural wonders of Borneo. So pack your hiking boots, grab your binoculars, and prepare to be amazed by the beauty and biodiversity of this incredible island. The call of the wild as the sun begins its descent over Kuching. Casting a warm glow on the Sarawak River, the city awakens to a different kind of energy. The air hums with the chirping of cicadas, the croaking of frogs, and the distant calls of nocturnal creatures. It's a reminder that even in the heart of the city, the jungle is never far away. Take a stroll along the Kuching waterfront as twilight sets in, and you'll witness a captivating spectacle thousands of fruit bats, known as flying foxes, take to the skies. Their silhouettes dark against the fading light as they head out in search of food. This nightly exodus is a testament to the delicate balance between urban life and the natural world in Kuching. For a closer encounter with the nocturnal wonders of Borneo, embark on a night safari. Several tour operators offer guided walks through the rainforest where you can spot nocturnal creatures such as slow lorises, civet cats, and even the occasional tarsier. With its enormous eyes and uncanny ability to rotate its head almost 360 degrees. But even if you don't venture into the rainforest, the call of the wild is never far away in Kuching. Listen closely and you'll hear the geckos chirping in the trees, the frogs croaking in the drains, and the occasional rustling of leaves as some unseen creature makes its way through the night. It's a reminder that Kuching is a city where nature and urban life coexist in a delicate and fascinating balance. Badambang, an artistic awakening. Our journey through Southeast Asia's hidden gems now leads us to Badambang, Cambodia's second largest city, a place where time seems to flow at a different pace. Imagine a place where the air hums with creative energy, where ancient temples stand sentinel over rice paddies, and where the echoes of a rich history whisper through the streets. Badambang, often overlooked in favor of its more famous counterparts like Siem Reap and Phnom Penh, is a city that rewards the curious traveler. It's a place where you can wander through bustling markets, marvel at colonial era architecture, and discover a thriving contemporary art scene that is putting Badambang on the map as a cultural hub. Unlike the frenetic energy of Phnom Penh, Badambang moves at a more relaxed pace, 
inviting you to slow down and savor the moment. The city's heart beats along the banks of the Sankar River, a languid waterway that meanders through the heart of Bottom Bay, reflecting the sky and the city's laid back charm in its waters. As you explore Batam Bang, you'll notice a unique energy, a blend of ancient traditions and a burgeoning contemporary spirit. The city is home to a growing community of artists, musicians, and performers who are breathing new life into traditional forms of expression, creating a cultural landscape that is both exciting and inspiring. Batam Bang is a city that is waking up and it invites you to be a part of its artistic awakening. Echoes of grandeur. Batambang streets are a living museum of architectural styles, a testament to the city's rich and often tumultuous history. Grand colonial era buildings, their facades adorned with intricate balconies and faded pastel hues, stand as reminders of Cambodia's French colonial past. These architectural gems, some lovingly restored, others bearing the patina of time, give Batambang a sense of faded grandeur, a glimpse into a bygone era. Wander along Street 1.5, Batambang's main artery, and you'll be transported back in time. Here, Chinese shop houses with their distinctive narrow facades and wooden shutters sit alongside French villas with their elegant balconies and wrought iron gates. Look closely and you'll notice the subtle ways in which these architectural styles have blended over time creating a unique aesthetic that is both charming and captivating. Beyond the city center, venture into the surrounding countryside, and you'll discover ancient temples that speak to Cambodia's spiritual heritage. Wat Ek Phnom, an 11th century Angkorian temple complex, stands majestically atop a hill, its sandstone towers offering panoramic views of the surrounding rice paddies. The temple's intricate carvings weathered by time but still awe-inspiring, depict scenes from Hindu mythology, offering a glimpse into Cambodia's rich cultural past. As you explore these architectural treasures, let your imagination wander. Picture the streets bustling with merchants and traders, the air thick with the scent of spices and incense. Batambang's buildings are not just structures, they are storytellers, each one whispering tales of the city's past, inviting you to step back in time and imagine the lives that once unfolded within their walls. A culinary canvas. Badenbang's culinary scene is a delightful fusion of traditional Khmer flavors and innovative twists reflecting the city's emerging identity as a cultural hub. From bustling street food stalls serving up fragrant bowls of kai tiv, a traditional Cambodian noodle soup, to stylish cafes offering contemporary takes on classic dishes, Batambang is a city that tantalizes the taste buds. Start your culinary adventure at the Sar Nat, Batambang's central market, a sensory overload of sights, sounds, and aromas. Here, amidst the vibrant chaos, you'll find vendors selling an array of fresh produce, spices, and local delicacies. Sample the sweet and savory flavors of Num Kache, a steamed rice cake filled with mung bean paste or try the crunchy, slightly bitter taste of prahok, a fermented fish paste that is a staple of Cambodian cuisine. As the sun begins to set, head to the riverside, where a string of restaurants and bars come alive with the sounds of laughter and clinking glasses. Indulge in a plate of amok, a fragrant fish curry steamed in banana leaves, or savor the rich flavors of lak lak. Stir fried beef with vegetables in a tangy kampot pepper sauce. For a sweet treat, try the sticky rice with mango, a classic Cambodian dessert that is both refreshing and satisfying. Batambang's culinary scene is a testament to the city's ability to embrace both tradition and innovation. It's a place where you can savor the authentic flavors of Cambodia while also discovering new and exciting culinary creations, all made with fresh, locally sourced ingredients and a dash of Cambodian hospitality. The bamboo train's rhythmic rattle, 
No trip to Bat and Bang is complete without experiencing the unique thrill of the bamboo train, a testament to Cambodian ingenuity and a symbol of the country's resilience. Imagine a bamboo platform mounted on train axles, powered by a repurposed motorcycle engine, rattling along a single track through rice paddies and villages. The bamboo train, or nori as it is locally known, originated as a makeshift transportation system after the Khmer Rouge regime. A testament to the Cambodian people's resourcefulness in the face of adversity. Today, it has become one of Bat Bang's most popular attractions, offering a unique way to experience the Cambodian countryside. The journey begins with a jolt as the motorcycle engine roars to life, propelling the bamboo platform along the tracks. The wind whips through your hair as you speed through rice paddies, past grazing water buffaloes and waving children. The track is bumpy, the ride exhilarating, and the experience unforgettable. The true magic of the bamboo train lies not just in the ride itself, but also in the interactions you have along the way. You'll encounter local villagers using the nori for their daily commute, transporting goods, or simply enjoying the ride. The sense of community and shared experience is palpable, a reminder of the simple joys of life in rural Cambodia. Beyond the familiar horizon, as we conclude our journey through the hidden cities of Southeast Asia, let the memories linger like the scent of incense after a temple visit. We've walked streets paved with stories, witnessed traditions as enduring as the ancient temples, and felt the pulse of life in markets vibrant with color and sound. From the serene mountains of Luang Prabang to the sun-drenched streets of Hoi An, the rugged beauty of Kuching and the artistic awakening of Batambang, we've uncovered a side of Southeast Asia rarely glimpsed through the lens of conventional tourism. These hidden cities, each with its unique rhythm and character, remind us that the most rewarding journeys are often those that lead us off the beaten path. They challenge us to embrace the unfamiliar, to engage with cultures different from our own, and to discover the unexpected treasures hidden in plain sight. We've witnessed the enduring power of tradition, the warmth of human connection that transcends language barriers, and the breathtaking beauty of landscapes both natural and man-made. But more than just destinations, these cities have served as gateways to a deeper understanding of Southeast Asia's soul. They've shown us that behind the tourist facades lies a world of rich history, vibrant cultures, and a resilience of spirit that shines through even in the face of adversity. an invitation to wander. So let these experiences inspire you to embark on your own Southeast Asian adventure. Let curiosity be your compass, leading you down narrow alleyways into bustling markets and along dusty roads less traveled. Don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone, to embrace the unexpected, and to allow yourself to get lost in the moment. Southeast Asia, with its tapestry of cultures, landscapes, and experiences, is an invitation to wander, to explore, to discover. It's a reminder that the world is full of hidden gems, waiting to be unearthed by those who dare to venture beyond the familiar. Embrace the spirit of adventure, and you'll find that the most rewarding journeys are often those that lead you to unexpected destinations and unforgettable encounters. As you plan your next adventure, remember that the true treasures of travel are not found in souvenirs or photographs, but in the memories you create and the stories you bring home. Let the spirit of Southeast Asia stay with you, inspiring you to seek out the extraordinary in the ordinary, to find beauty in unexpected places, and to embrace the world with open arms and a thirst for discovery. The world is waiting to be explored, one hidden city at a time,